Hello everyone and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So I promised that I'd put out a little video about breathwork and this is because there are a huge amount of people, and um, probably myself in the early days of meditation um, as well, who feel that they just can't take a deep breath in. And a lot of time people will say it feels like my breath is stuck or I feel restricted and I don't know why. So this is for those who feel a little bit restricted in their breath or that they just can't let that breath really expand in their chest, especially if there's no medical reason why not. And this is because subconsciously, so we're not aware it happens, when we become stressed, when we become anxious, worried, fearful, doubtful, we subconsciously hold our breath. So if I'm kind of demo this now, we kind of get that breath stuck in our chest. It's really common in children. You've seen children all the time when they get really upset, <laughs> they're sucking in that breath and you're having to get them actively to breathe out again. Um, so how can, we, how can we change this? What can you do at home? Or if you can come to class, we'll talk through it. The main thing I would say is focus your awareness on your a breath out because any long, slow breath out will help the nervous system kick in and it automatically relaxes the body. So even if you're listening to a track or somebody else, even like myself saying, just breathe deeply, your focus is not breathing in, it's on a long, slow breath out. You're almost, you know, like blowing up this very gentle balloon, a long, slow balloon and filling it with all that carbon dioxide that's built up in your system so that the rest of your body, all the muscles and organs can really relax. Okay. Now you don't have to save that technique for a meditation or a mindfulness class or anything else. You can do that intermittently throughout the day and it will really make a big difference to how you're feeling in yourself, your energy levels and usually the way you sleep. So, you know, just giving your body those little kind of touches, dipping in and out of calm, relaxed, can be enough to make simple, effective changes to your well-being. Now, if you are struggling with sleep, remember I will pop up more videos a bit about sleep. There are two main kinds of poor sleepers or non-sleepers or bad sleepers, and it can be really helpful to, to understand a little bit more if that's you. Now, in the meantime, if you're subscribing to the videos, that's great, but remember you're always welcome along at a class, an event, when I listen to one of the freebies on the website, and you can find out more or just message me, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.